Well, four students are still in the hospital tonight after a deadly bus crash in Meigs County. It happened just before four yesterday. Tennessee Highway Patrol says the driver of a truck lost control, overcorrected, and then skidded into the oncoming bus lane. A seven-year-old girl and the bus driver both died in the crash. WAT 6 Near Side reporter Blake Stevens joining us now live. So, Blake, we now know more than 30 students were on board that bus at the time of the crash. Yeah, Bo, last night we heard there were 22 students on the bus. Today, the director of schools here in Meigs County says there were actually 32 students, and seven of them were sent to the hospital. Uh, now we know three students were able to go home. We also know that bus was made up of students from high school, middle school, and uh, elementary school, including that uh, seven-year-old girl who lost her life. Uh, in this crash. Today was a remote learning day, so students were not at school. And the director here says everyone in this region, not just students, not just staff, everyone is feeling pain right now. I got the call there about 345, 350, and uh, headed straight there from the office. And uh, when I got there, uh, there were high school students and middle school students caring for the young ones. Sorry, I'm emotional, but if you if you could have seen it, you would understand. Response team. Today there was a crisis response team at that elementary school for the staff. There was also a team to help out uh, the the team of bus drivers in the school district. And uh, you know, Baker says they will continue to offer these resources to students and their staff in the weeks ahead. In fact, he plans to put a counselor on the very bus uh, where uh, this route was, that bus that was impacted so uh, closely by this tragedy. We're live in Meigs County tonight. Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side.